Hi guys, I'm Julian from Still Alive Studios again. In response to our latest video about this Epoch Emotive Mind Reader device, we got a lot of skepticism and I don't blame you at all because I mean, I know how insane and how fake it really sounds. I want to show you how this thing works. What it really does is basically measuring brain activity patterns and it matches certain patterns to certain actions. It's like with speech recognition, right? You have to train the, a device first before it recognizes certain words to say. For instance, if you say, hello, then it memorizes this pattern of voice. And as soon as you say, hello, again, it will recognize it and know, okay, I've heard that before, and then trigger certain actions. The same applies here with this mind reader. For instance, if you have a certain thing in your mind, then the EG data of that specific thought is basically stored, and as soon as you think it again, it will recognize that, oh, there was a training somewhere, and the data corresponds to the current one, so I'm going to trigger some action. So for instance, in the game Son of North, you will encounter a other mage and that other mage is going to learn you how to cast spells and for that he for instance says something like focus on a memory of fire try to picture the fire concentrate concentrate and during that time the EEG data of which is sent from your epoch device is then stored as a pattern and after that point in time, every time you want to cast a fire spell, you have to think the same pattern again. To really show you that I'm using my thoughts to do that, I'm going to demonstrate that right now. See? And again. Did it work again? Again. The cool thing about the Epoch device is that it can measure more things than just brain patterns. What it also recognizes is facial expressions. For instance, I can use my eyebrows to raise and lower the terrain. I'm going to demonstrate that. Now I clench my teeth to lower the sand again. The other very cool thing with the Epoch device is that it can actually measure your emotional state in terms of if you're excited or if you're bored or if you're full of anxiety or whatsoever. And you can use that data with Son of Nor. For instance, the soundtracks could be really selected according to your current emotional state. So it adapts to your current mood. And, and that's really something, I think, which would make just the whole experience of the game so much better. Also, don't forget to check out our Kickstarter page. I will put the link down in the video description. We have a great campaign running and would really love to finish this great game, Son of Nor. Of course, with full support for the Epoch device. And maybe you want to stop by and support us. That would be really awesome. That's it. Thanks for watching and I hope I have clarified some of your questions and see you next time. Bye.